Hey everybody, welcome to Girl on Arts. This is Crystal. So, like any other normal Latina artist, one morning I woke up with Spanish stickers on the brain. That is normal, right? So, um, anyway, I used Canva to make this happen. And for those of you that don't know what Canva is and you've been living under a rock, it's actually a free to use online graphic design tool. You can use it to make so many cool different things like social media posts, presentations, posters. And even though I am well versed in Adobe programs like Illustrator and Photoshop, I do find myself using Canva quite a bit because they have so many templates and assets ready to go and it's so easy to use. And no, I am not sponsored in any way. This channel is still too small for that. But psst, hey Canva, if you're listening, I'd be interested. So there's two ways to search for stickers on Canva. You can use the search button that's located at the top and type in stickers, and then you'll be sent to a page with lots of templates and choices. You are able to narrow down these choices if you have something specific in mind by using the filter buttons on the left-hand side. You can filter by shape, style, theme, and color. Personally, I like to use the create a design button on the top right of the screen, the purple button, and search for sticker there. You're met with the same options of shape. I've chosen circle for this example. On the left hand side, you're able to scroll through the same template options. You can also search for topics or themes. I'm going to be putting in a search for magic and choosing one of the designs. Once your design's chosen, it's really easy to change the style of the font. And there are so many beautiful fonts to choose from. You can also change the size of the font and the color of the text. The plus rainbow option on the top left will let you choose from any color. You can change the background color and also replace the text by double clicking on it. Some of the elements even allow you to change their color. You're able to add elements or replace them by clicking on the elements button on the left. Under that, there's an uploads button that will also allow you to upload your own art, photos, or videos. And you guessed it, the text button will allow you to add text. So whenever you're happy with your design, you can download your file by clicking on the share button on the top right. Just double check with your manufacturer to see what kind of file they might need, and then click download to find it in your downloads. Canva also has the option of printing things for you if you'd like to look into that. You can see how much different sizes would cost you. It's based by quantity, so bulk orders come out cheaper. And I have ordered thank you cards and business cards from them in the past, and I have been pleased with the quality and shipping. Canva is always saving your work along the way. 
and you can also rename your file to make it easier to find your file and downloads as I'm doing here. Now I'm going to be taking you back to the home page so you can see where you find your new file located, even though it might take a little while to update. If you ever find it hard to choose between colors or looks, you can always use the duplicate button and feel free to make changes to that new page while the first one stays intact. Okay, so now for the fun part, I'm going to be taking you on a behind the scenes look at how I made three of my Spanish stickers. I, I am going to be moving a little bit fast, but it's mostly using the same features that I already went over. And if you have any questions, just feel free to drop it in the comments and I'll get back with you ASAP. So this quote says, Te crees la última Coca-Cola del desierto, which literally translates to you think you're the last Coca-Cola in the desert. Which kind of reminds me of that English saying, you think you're all that in a bag of chips. So yeah, it's, it's that kind of vibe. For my second sticker, I chose this illustration because I liked the attitude that I was getting from it. I also really liked the color contrast. The quote says, no me tomes el pelo, which literally translates to don't pull or don't grab me by the hair, which means don't play with me or just don't mess with me because she's just not having it. So the third and final sticker says ponte las pilas, which literally means put on your batteries. So the meaning I get from that is like, you know, get energized or get ready. Hope I didn't scare you there, but that's kind of how that thought came into my brain. I was putting so much effort into this little sticker project and I just wanted to make sure I'd actually be able to benefit from it. So I reached out to Canva and asked if I'd be able to print and sell these stickers and I got a pretty positive feedback from them pretty quickly. In this email, you'll see that it says that I currently hold a Canva Pro subscription. So you need that first. And because of that, I have access to all the content that they have, and it's all covered under Canvas content license agreement. So under this agreement, you're allowed to print your design for personal use or for selling without quantity limits. The only rule is to not sell pro content as a digital download. So the original creators of the individual elements would technically still have ownership of them such as like the soda can I used or the cactus, those kind of elements, but we are granted permission to use them in our designs. So the specific example I gave Canva was if I used a graphic from Canva 
and added my own text and they said that this would comply with alteration guidelines. However, disclaimer, uh, I'm not a lawyer, so I suggest if you have any other questions, you reach out to Canva yourself and find out. All in all, this was great news because now that means that I can print and sell these stickers for the future. I hope this video served as inspiration and that you're able to make stickers of your own. If you do, please share them with me. You can find Girl on Arts on Instagram and Facebook as well. Bye.